Disclaimer, this whole episode is a joke. Do not take anything said seriously. Just read the name of the show. What the dog doing? Welcome to the Todd Zone. Welcome back to Tardcast. Oh shit, I didn't put my fucking recording sign up. Give me a sec, gotta do that. Is your fucking what? Yourselves. While a uh, little schizo boy is off doing that, allow me to introduce today's co-host. Uh, was we we found him on the side of the road babbling about how his name is Mig, I think. That's right. That's me. Fucking yeah, I'm homeless. And so we figured that since he is a little homeless babbling retard, that he'd fit right in and be able to help us with this week's focus, which is how to talk to women. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at that. You know, being homeless just kind of gives me all the free time I want to just like harass women. I just missed sorry, all talk that. to women. Um, all I heard was it's being homeless. <laughs> yes, we were just introducing him and today's topic. Oh, that's why. Oh, this week's topic. Right. This week's topic. We sound like a fucking book club. We are this a book club. Book. This week it's, we're uh, reading Yukio Mishima's Sun and Steel. Terabithia or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, Bridge to Terabithia or whatever. That's the one. Bridge to Terabithia. I don't even know what that is. I just know the name from somewhere. All anyway. I know is the little girl dies. <laughs> Damn. All right, Peter Shorty. That's it. Uh, yeah. And we'll just... So, yes. Hmm. Okay. Talking to women. Talking to we women. We are the three sexiest men alive, and so we that thought we'd uh, bestow upon you, our weak, pitiful viewers, some advice. Oh, absolutely. And this is genuine life. advice from three men that definitely have sex. And we're very, very good at interacting with <laughs> Definitely women don't watch episode one. Them. Don't look we back at episode one as a contradiction. Not all, like, completely autistic. <laughs> devoid of understanding basic social cues. Trust me, guys. <laughs> yeah. We can talk to women. And you can't. <laughs> yeah. If true. you could, you'd be on the show. <laughs> That's yeah. right. We're the three leading authorities on how to talk to women. <clears throat> Alright, just yeah. ask my 17 exes. <laughs> 17 <laughs> since the age of 17, may I add. So That's my uh, best-selling book, How to Talk to Bitches. <laughs> and yeah. It's a New York Times bestseller. <laughs> I do. All right. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, would anyone like to go first on their story, or uh, shall I? Or should we go <clears throat> in any particular order? How about I the guest? I think guess? you should start. Let's, I let's make you. I should let's, start. Right. let's shame you into submission first. All right. <clears throat> All right. Um. I think probably. One of the more interesting ones would be that uh, when I was in a relationship once upon a time, it doesn't this, happen very often. Was this the one I argued with? No. Oh. No. I'll probably bring that one up. Yeah, we should bring possibly. that up later. Yeah, we'll bring it up later. But <laughs> no, no, no. This is when I was in a relationship and a different one, obviously, at uh, some point in time. Um, I'm good at talking to women, I swear, and, and they don't leave me every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, nah, I'm kidding. Uh, this time I actually left her. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, this Two one up. is probably an interesting experience. She tried to cheat on me with one of my, like, good friends, right? And, like, he sent me, like, a lot of screenshots and shit of her trying to, like, get with him and whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh... he sent them to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ooh, okay. I held on from to him for a little while. Um, also, she just broken her leg for some reason. Damn, so, Rip Bozo. Fuck out of here. Rip Bozo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pierce, pussy. Now, I was, I was like, retarded. I was like talking to her or whatever. And like, she like, I was on call with her. And she just like, fucking, what, like, she said she'd be back. And then I said, like, I thud. And apparently she broke her leg. It was pretty funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, yeah, yeah, so I held on to the screenshots for a little while, just for the right moment, and I was like, all right, well, fuck it, now's the right time, it's four in the morning, and I'm bored as fuck. So, <laughs> I just sent her, like, 
all of the screenshots. It was like 10, 15 screenshots or some shit as like proof of her trying to cheat on me or whatever. Fuck knows what happened with other dudes, but this guy was my friend, so easy. And then I just like muted her. I was just like, all right, cool. I sent her like the thumbs up sticker on Facebook afterwards. And then I muted her and like went to sleep for 12 hours. <clears throat> and then I woke up to like 300 messages or something insane. And like her still going. Like she was still fucking going when I woke up. And then like, later. Yeah. And then I like, I've read the, like, I don't read all of them. Fuck that shit. But like, I looked at the most recent ones and she was like, you know, like, I'm so sorry, this, that, you know, fucking. I'm so sorry, you know, are you gonna leave me? I just sent her, like, the... There's, like, a sticker pack on Facebook where it's, like, a dog doing the thumbs up. <laughs> what the dog doing? Uh, he just does a thumbs up, and I said, yes. With the sticker, I don't say <laughs> any words. And then I, like, blocked her. Chad moved. And then about, I guess, three years later, right? High as fuck. I don't remember this, because I was blacked out. Um... Apparently, I messaged her, do it still jiggle, though, about three years later. Holy shit. Um, Holy fuck. That's a quality skits moment right there. <laughs> yeah. Sounds that's like something I'll do. Time. Yeah, Jesus fucking Christ. She life. fell in love instantly again. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's just the power we have. God damn. That kind of, um... It reminds me of a story from, oh, fuck, it'd be like three years ago now. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I had dated this goth girl for a little oh, bit. It's whack. Over, Good stuff. Over, over uh, Christmas no. time when I was like 16, I'd met her uh, in uh, grade 11 in high school, and she had. It was a whole clusterfuck from start to beginning, and it lasted like two years. From start to beginning. <laughs> yeah, like I met her in um, first day of grade 11. Uh, she had a boyfriend at the time, uh, but mm-hmm. still, like, you know, flirt with me in the DMs despite having a boyfriend, which is always a good sign, gentlemen. Uh-huh. If the girl mm-hmm. is willing to flirt with you when she still has a boyfriend, trust me, she won't cheat on you. Ever. You know, she's, she's, very she just loves, she's very faithful. She loves you that much. It's just you that has that sole influence on her. This reminds me of the time I got gang stalked. I'll bring it up when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, so eventually uh, she broke up with her boyfriend and then boom dates another dude and then um that christmas holiday time um cheated on that dude with me great also too if she cheats on another man with you she's not going to cheat on you don't worry about it um and then yeah she had moved, strike twice. <laughs> she had moved away to a different state um and i was meant to go out to see her um for Christmas, like over like the three, the weekend of Christmas and then come back the Monday. Um, and basically I had bought the ticket and I was just waiting on, you know, her to go, oh, where should like we meet up when I actually land or whatever. Anyway, she messages me the Monday I was meant to come back from the trip. And I had already paid for the ticket and everything. And um, then she goes, oh, hey, how was your Christmas? Completely ignoring. Anyway, anyway, uh, come, we still continue to date. I don't know why I was such a fucking retard. I'm guessing it was the power of horny for golf. Oh, absolutely. Um, was I natty at this? I think I was probably using some anabolics at this point, so I definitely had an inflated libido. Um, so, yeah, I was dating this girl all the way up until my 17th birthday, which is also Valentine's Day. Like, my birthday's on Valentine's Day. I feel like that's a very thematical variable to imply. Or uh, to address. Very uh, rememberable birthday. Yeah, very. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wake up my 17th birthday happy, corny. Um, <clears throat> I was meant to meet up with her that day. Boom. Blocked on everything. Or at least uh, she oh. deactivated on Facebook. Um, on my birthday. So I was like, oh, sick. Now, needless to say, I was a bit of a niche micro-internet celebrity at this time. So I had mm-hmm. a lot of e-girls in my DMs. So I was, I was upset, but I had the ability to cope quite well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so cope. I did. Oh, okay. I did. Um, <laughs> cope, and, cope, cope. And then throughout that whole year from my birthday up until, what, I got back with her in October that year. I did like oh. four chicks in between. Which is very bad. The average was like two months in their each relationship. So, 
you know, I, I've, I'm pretty ran fucking through, to be honest. Um, ran through. You used goods. Yeah, I'm used goods. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I started dating her later that year. Uh, she cheated on me like five or seven times or some shit. One time uh, for about $20 worth of weed. Which is not worth it at all. I like to think I'm at least, you know, at least like a, a like a, a pound. You know, cheat on me for a pound. That's okay. Like, that doesn't hurt me so much. But $20? Like a single stick? Fuck out of here. <sighs> and, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That relationship was god-awful. Um, and then... Oh, I didn't talk to her until March. I don't know. This was meant to be a lot funnier. This is just sad. <laughs> this is just sad. <laughs> going, keep fuck. going. We'll laugh at the end. <laughs> and then, um, oh yeah, her birthday was in January. We had broken up December, because we broke up multiple times in this later portion. Mm-hmm. Um, and I m- removed her on everything. And then she gets mad at me on her birthday. And we haven't spoken to, I haven't spoken to her in like a month at this point. She gets mad at me for not wishing her happy birthday. If I've literally removed her on everything. So she like DMs me like, what the fuck is your problem? Like, this person even wished me happy birthday, but not even you can. Like, she was still delusional to the fact that we had broken up like a month ago. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Lord. And then, uh, yeah, then she texts me March and I was leaving for Canada in May at that point. Um, <clears throat> just a whole three paragraph shit and I've left her on red for the last three years. I mean, as you should. Or two uh-huh, years. Uh-huh. Uh, that's the whole yeah, story. Yeah, two years. That was Nearly to, three years now. Yeah. I don't know why. That was meant to be, like, way funnier in my head. Uh, and then all I could <laughs> think about is, um, wow, I'm actually practically a cock. <laughs> I really just let <laughs> um, her get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Oh, Are we crying in the cord chat now? Damn. Damn. Oh, you can bring up your gang stalking story. Yeah, I was gonna say, that reminds me. This was just before I got together with, like, my ex. Yeah. There's only one. That's how you know this is quality advice. Yeah, yeah. Sigma. Oh, I can't say that word. I gotta... (laughs) (laughs) Fuck's sake. Guess you gotta... Guess we do some editing. Yes. Oh, well. Um, so... Five years ago now, maybe even a few months over five years ago, uh-huh. uh, it was year 10. Right. Uh, the girl I'd had a crush on since year seven, her friend stole her phone and blocked me on everything. Let's go. So, Your so influence from like, Steve King. Yes. Uh, I am aware of the effect I have on women. Nice. Uh, there was actually a lot going on there with that stuff, but we won't bother with that for now because I'll just ramble about how much I hate this one individual. Uh-huh. But anyway, so my monsters acting how sad. Hmm. My, I ran out of monster. I'm sad. <laughs> no time for monster maxing. Just a minute and drink it. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> so um, this was while the girl I'd like for years. I couldn't talk to her, and this was before I'd, like, properly met my ex. So there was this little interim period where I was a horny, retarded 14-year-old who would just talk to random women. I think we've all been there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's fine. I can edit it. Yeah, we'll censor it. The last censor, too, was also me accidentally saying someone's... Accidentally doxing someone's name, too. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, Oh, Yeah, skits are still like that. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Sadly. Um, go on. Yeah, so there were actually two events that led to me getting two separate gangs coming after me. But um the main one that I was thinking of mm. was um there was this girl that I just kept bumping into on the train and around like the suburb I lived in. <laughs> yeah. And um like at the shopping centre that I like would go to and stuff and the thing was like my school was very far away from where i lived so this was like a crazy coincidence to like see someone out in that area for school not at the same school though Mm. like a couple suburbs away anyway so in that area but living in the same area as me and so like we ran into each other so often that it was like all right well we see each other this often we might as well talk 
And so there's a lot of like autistic me sitting in silence on the bus, not saying anything to her, just breathing heavily because I'd run to catch the bus. Or so like Max. <laughs> Yeah, just me breathing really heavily in her presence. Mm. Mm-hmm. And covered in sweat from running, so... Good impression. Who, yeah, who could who could see this girl? The on? pheromones that must have been in the air. There's no way she could have resisted you, dude. You're breathing heavy from your chest, bro. <laughs> she must think you're a goddamn alpha. But, uh... Sigma. Yeah, we were talking for a while, and she was asking me for, like social media stuff and all that, you know, I was oh. like, I don't have this, that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I gave her my number and stuff. We were talking for a bit. She was saying yeah. some really stupid stuff, because this was 2016, and she was saying stuff like, I support Hillary because we uh, we need a female president. Hey, we live in Australia. Yeah, what are you on about? <laughs> we... B, I started, like, lecturing her about how Bernie Sanders is the better choice, you little shit. <laughs> He actually stands up for women's rights, whereas uh, Hillary Clinton used to be a Republican before that. Just... Feel the burn. <laughs> Up the burn. Just chlamydia this time. But, uh, yeah, autistic as hell. Yeah, no skin, huh? And uh, so we were talking, and I was, like, pretty sure she had a crush on me or whatever, because of, like, aforementioned, like... Pheromones. Yes, of course. Mm. Like, the whole asking for social media and all that sort of yeah. stuff. When we didn't really know each other, I was like, yeah, I guess that means she's got a crush or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the next day, she starts telling me stuff like, oh, yeah, my boyfriend isn't happy about how much we talk. Dog. And <laughs> in my head, uh-huh. I heard the sound of, like, a metal pole tearing, screeching, and then falling down loudly. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like... You do what? <laughs> you fucking what? And for like a couple months after that, like a boyfriend who went to school like one train stop away from my school, so we were like a block away in terms of schools. Mm. Him and his best friends and all them would just like harass me on like public transport in the mornings because we had to catch the same train to school and stuff. And so they'd be like, Eight to sixteen dudes, depending on the day, like all mobbing me or like bashing on the train windows as they saw me, and was, oh, oh, oh. and I told her like, dude, what the hell is going all on? All just here? because you wanted a red pillar about Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and she was like, oh yeah, I, I I know what they've been doing. He's in the doghouse right now, and I was like, oh, fuck, he's he's still doing it, you know. Anyway, sort of nothing really happened there yeah. until like she changed her profile picture and I didn't recognize her because it was 2 a.m. and she was wearing a lot of makeup. And so in my oh. immense wisdom, I texted her saying... Your huge oh, amount of wisdom. Yes, in, in my huge wisdom, uh, I texted her saying like, Oh, now I didn't recognize you in your profile picture. You're wearing so much makeup. <laughs> Women love things like that. They consider those yeah, things it's... compliments. Com- yeah, those are those are compliments. Go um... to sleep. Wake up the next morning to like a seventy message long rant about how don't say that sort of thing. That's extremely insensitive and uh, <laughs> makeup looks good. Don't make me feel bad about it. Like not my fault. Yeah, I have just... autism. I couldn't help it. I have autism. Not my fault. <laughs> yeah, it was like. Understand autism is a crutch for everything now. <laughs> it's like understandable that she's pissed, mm. but there's nothing else I can do here, so I just blocked her. <laughs> Sigma. Still got Sigma, yeah. Still got gang stalked for like another week or so, but then like I saw the boyfriend again, uh, the same train platform because that was like where it would all start, uh-huh. and he just looked really sad one day, and he didn't chase after me or anything so i assume they got they broke up and he just gave me this look of like respect and stuff Fair enough. And so i think like he ended up working out what had actually happened and just like regretted it or whatever but anyway mm. that reminds that's... me of a story i have um 
and I didn't plan this one out. It just came back oh. to me because I completely forgot it ever happened. But it's funny as fuck. Just before you do, can yeah, I sure. mention one last thing? Yeah, go ahead, baby. Uh, so that was middle of 2016 where I just like never saw her again, blocked her and everything. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. New Year's Eve 2019, I was on the train to the city with a couple of my friends and I recognized a voice from behind me. It was her. Oh, God. Uh oh. But because I'd gotten. We all know about the Twink Bussy Balls days. Yeah. From when I was skinny as fuck and had like twice as narrow shoulders and now short he's hair. Max, and stuff. Bro. Yeah, I'm. I'm Whole 30 kills Swatch every burst. Basically, just looks like me, but <laughs> it's yeah. just me. It's um, it's an audio recording. The medium does not help for. He looks <laughs> like me. We can't fucking see you. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> just imagine. But, um, it. Anyway, so like I got a lot bigger, <laughs> long hair. She didn't recognize me, even though like I've been talking behind her for like twenty minutes straight, and it was just like, this is power. Now my past misdeeds will never catch up to me because these women don't recognize me anymore. <laughs> uh, Sigma male rule number 69, change your appearance every four years so your past can't catch up with change you. Change your appearance every six months. So That uh, reminds me of somebody. Or every time you do a wrongdoing to a woman so she can't figure <laughs> out who you are. That reminds me of somebody. What, uh, me? Yes. Well, just because I change I my look so dude. drastically every month isn't because I'm trying to escape women. It's because I have something called severe mental illness. True, true. <laughs> anyway, so my story. Uh, before I left uh, for Canada, I was trying to like catch up with all my friends or like people mm-hmm. from my life within the city that you know I haven't seen in a couple months or a year or whatever. Just to like type any loose ends. I want to say like, when I was there. You weren't physically there, but uh, this is when you were a part of my life, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and there was a girl I used to work with, uh, not the same girl I used to work with that I mentioned last week that I uh, sent that Snapchat of me speaking Arabic to, <laughs> but from the same job. You've got a lot of girls you used to work with. Yeah, well, women are able to be employed. No. <laughs> I object. I object. Anyway. Objection! So this chick used to just roll through boyfriends. So, you know, me and her have something in common, at least. <laughs> the fact that I roll through girlfriends. No homo. Um, and so, yeah, I was leaving in, like, two, three weeks at this point. So it was pretty, like, qu- close qual- call. Ugh. And I was like, hey, do you want to, like, catch up or something? Like, to see each other one last time before. And I don't know when I'm going to be back in you know, the country even again, let alone the fucking city. And, um, yeah, she goes, oh, I don't think my boyfriend would like that too much. And oh, I'm boy. like, that is so fucking retarded. You know, if, like, we were friends at this point. Like, we hadn't seen each other in probably, like, a month. But we would, like, consistently talk back and forth. And the fact that, like, a boyfriend is like, oh, no, you can't see this guy because he's a dude, even though he's going to leave the country and you won't see him for an undefined amount of time. Anyway, 24 right. hours later, they broke up. <laughs> 24 hours. She still doesn't want to see me, though, which I thought was a bit of a hint. Um, mm. I hate to see a girl boss win, then, I guess. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, you want to go next? Um... Yeah, I was gonna add on to the using autism as a crutch thing. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I've, we've all... Well, I've done that a lot. I've got a few I've stories. I've done it a lot, it. but also I've been accused of doing it a lot, which mm-hmm. I allegedly did not do. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> you're mistaken. I didn't say that. I never did that. Your Honor, I may have got my hands up. all over the murder weapon. I may have been there. <laughs> I may have a motive, but can you prove that I did it? Show me a peer-reviewed study. <laughs> a peer-reviewed study. Nah, I've, I've... <laughs> democratic vote on the matter as to if I did it or not. <laughs> I mean, this isn't even really an experience with girls. I just got reminded, well, A, she was a girl, but not, like, in Allegedly. a relationship sense. <laughs> but nah, like, in, like, I think year eight or nine, I was, like, sparring with my friends in, like, mm-hmm. the fucking quad area. Swag. And then there was this, like, uh, girl that was very, very, like, this Down Syndrome girl that was very, very, very into, like, 
uh, keeping everyone like doing the like uh, following the rules and shit. Oh dear. And like making sure their uniform was all like set. And I was sparring with my friends, and she just fucking tackles me onto the pavement. Okay, based. <laughs> no, Owned. it fucking hurt. Owned. Um. Because, you know, I was just, like, sparring with my friends or whatever, and out of nowhere, I was this fucking bouncing drone girl just full sprinting at me and tackles me straight onto the pavement and yells at me for, like, fighting in school and shit. Ironic. It sounds like you got hit by a potato cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Lord. No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fuck. I can just see Skits leaning back in his chair trying not to laugh. It's like I know I can laugh at that, but it's also fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're a little... Oh, Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go on, go on. I, that was the end of the story. I, I just got attacked <laughs> oh. by a bitch with Down syndrome, alright. Yeah. <laughs> Did she actually have Down <laughs> syndrome? Or is that... Yeah. Like, okay. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a few stories. Of, I don't, how the fuck did that come back to abusing having autism as an excuse? There, there was no correlation. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, my story and that correlation to uh, abusing autism as a an excuse brings me back to my first relationship when I landed in Canada, a train wreck, to say uh, the least. Wonderful. But her, but her titties are fat, and if she wants to give me a seventh chance, and my DMs are open, um, you know, you know, seventh chance. I think that's reasonable. You know, I'm only yeah. human. Cats have nine lives. You no, get nine I'm chances. completely aware I'm a piece of shit. I just refuse to do better. Um, so why yeah. do better when people are giving you more chances to do worse? Exactly, exactly. Uh, as we established last episode, or like a couple episodes ago, uh, pretty much the entire time I was in Canada, I was not sober. Mm-hmm. And I one, can testify. And one night Me I too. was rather inebriated let's say let's call it inebriated i won't clarify but let's say that um and i decided to call my girlfriend at the time and i was just fucked like out of my mind not even conscious and i don't even remember the night but apparently it happened so i don't know if she's gaslighting me into it but apparently i called her on the phone i was in my uh, apartment at the time i was just laying on my bed i do remember that part and according to her for about 30 minutes I was just calling her a slur repeatedly, repeatedly, <laughs> and every time she would talk, I'd just say this slur over and over and over again. May May I inquire which slur this was? No. It'll be bleeped out anyway. But <laughs> no, I can't. the The audience may use their imagination to call whichever <laughs> slur is comedically effective to them. And apparently, I was just calling her this for like thirty minutes. I don't remember it. I ended up like knocking out, and then I get amazing texts and calls the next morning uh from her and she's like why are you so beat to be like like basically i was being a piece of shit and um you know i did the classic no you're mistaken who told you that your friends you should stop listening to them (laughs) (laughs) i didn't actually say that part but um basically she was telling me what i did and i just completely didn't remember it at all and um Yeah, it was uh, an interesting time, to say the least. Uh, Another good time uh, with her is, like, I used to work as a security guard. I did the night shift, so I'd do from, like, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., which is fucking awful. Um, And I'd come home every night, quote-unquote. It's fucking morning at that point, like, 5 o'clock, 5.30. And I wanted to just fucking sleep one day because I was fucking tired. I went kayak. I went white water rafting that day. Then I went to the gym, and then I did my shift. Mm-hmm. Bro, let me fucking sleep. All right, I don't care how fat your tits are. I'm tired. Okay, fucking hell. facts. And um, yeah, she was just calling me up, and you know we ended up getting into an argument because basically, like, I just, just had no energy. I was delirious at this point, which is absolute whatever the fuck, like lethargic bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, and she called me abusive and toxic, and I was pretty much like, okay, maybe I am. 
but I'm not calling that. All right, so I hung up the phone, turned my phone completely off, and just slept like a fucking baby. Not gonna lie, not a not a moral battle in my head that night. Um, and then I woke up. I think it was something like thirty plus missed calls, and then like almost a hundred texts just not responded to. And literally, Jesus. as soon as I turned on my phone, boom, instant call. And it was like 1 p.m. in the afternoon. This chick had been calling me since like 7 a.m. Holy fuck. Like, if... Can a man just fucking sleep, dog? Like, what the fuck does that cost? Jesus. Um, but yeah, that was... You know, that relationship lasted three months. A new record. A record, yeah. Damn. Yes. Congrats. Hell yeah. Mics don't really pick up clapping very well, but I'm clapping. Just I fucking think we need to out my mind. Doing it. Yeah, just like, keep clapping. So true. So that yeah. reminded me of something, but I can't remember what. So that I think we're back to square one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Nice burp. Yeah, this stomach ulcer is fucking me up. This shit Stop is drinking go, monsters, go drink then. more of that pussy water. Oh, I, I definitely drank that pussy water this morning. Pussy water is bicarb with water. It's uh, I don't actually get a bitch to pee in a cup. Although, <laughs> any ladies that would be willing to do so, my DMs are open on Twitter. <laughs> so, um, I guess to keep the ball rolling until I remember what it was I was going to bring up. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of autism, right. as we do, because this is all we ever talk about. It's the only thing we have in common. <laughs> it's, it's honestly true. <laughs> Um, just the other day, I, uh, correctly managed to, uh, like, predict that one of my uni friends is an autist with a rock collection. A rock collection? I sent her a gr- um, I sent her a oh, green text. Oh, it's a girl, damn. Yes. Sent her a green text that was all like, uh, shitty day, come home, look at rock and mineral collection, feel better, thank you, rock and mineral collection. <laughs> and she's... Good. Definitely not at all, uh, like, in on, uh, like, like, memes or, like, 4chan or any kind of internet culture. Right. So she just liked it and started sending me pictures of her, like, rock collection. I mean, that's kind of adorable. That's cute. Yeah. She should DM me. <laughs> uh, I had a story, actually, it's from yesterday. Um, oh, damn. With one of my exes. Um, oh so my, I sent oh her, no. uh, I think it was from a, a Twitter mutual posted it. Um, oh, she just messaged me actually. It's going to be funny leaving her on red for like an read hour. Read it out, read it out. Well, read the thing it is out. she just messaged me. So I'm going to leave her on red for like an hour and I feel bad. Just read it out now. Let's live stream. Yeah, but more. I'm still going to leave her on red for an hour. That's the issue anyway. I'm going to see if I send the, the image to another friend. Um, cause the images, I remember what she replied back with, so it's not really, okay. So I'm pretty sure Twitter mutual posts this, or if it was another Twitter mutual, I definitely saw it on Twitter. Uh, it's a Tinder, it's a screenshot of a Tinder message that says, yes, Oh. hello, is this the yes. suicide hotline? And then the girl replies, I'm going to say yes, just because I want to see where this goes. And then a crying face. First of all, if you, if I text you and use a crying face, I'm never talking to you again. If you use an emoji in general, I die. Anyway, and he goes, fuck me, I'll kill Walmart. myself. <laughs> oh, based. Fuck, yeah, I forgot about that one. That was in this group chat, and that was what I sent to my brother, and he was con- con- convinced, that's the word, having a little recharge. He is dyslexic too. But it was serious, and uh, real. you told me to convince him that you did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I sent that to my ex as a joke, and I, I left it with the caption, could be us. Um, um, she replied, was this you? Did you actually say this? And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Do you yeah. think I said, why do you think that? And she's like, uh, oh, it just looks like a really raw screenshot. And also you would definitely say this. She's I'm not like, wrong. I'm like, damn, I, yeah. how fucking unstable am I to these chicks? Like, very, the, uh, I, I've got a screenshot right now that shows how unstable you are. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, you, it's, you, you're so unstable with women that that see a white woman in subway and says white woman spotted is associated with you the internet over. I'm just yeah. so 
worried about how not worried i'd say curious i'm curious to how my exes perceive me like everyone has that i like person perception of like this person is this in my head but it mm -hmm. may not actually be that and what my exes or women that i date in the time that they're dating me must perceive me as is frightening lovecraftian dare i say because i can't imagine it yeah that shit's a fucking horror i must be a monster to these women and it's just a joke they just don't get it. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a little trolling. What fucking little screenshot funny. do you have that proves that one stable? Um, it's from your Twitter, uh, 11 days ago. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you might have mentioned it on the podcast, I can't remember. Uh -huh. um, but it's where the girl messages you, the only bitches allowed in my DMs are my ex. And then you say, shut the fuck up, uh, about 25 times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> And then she says, what the fuck? And you react to it with a fire emoji. Oh, fucking yeah. To be honest, that bitch did need to shut the fuck up. I mean, yeah. But that's a little unstable, although it is funny. Okay, yeah. So it's maybe, okay. maybe I forgot to take this my meds for last month I, during lockdown. Is this who I think it is? Yeah, it's her. <laughs> I, I, I just texted her if she'd be free to record like next week or the week after. <laughs> Yeah. Guess that's not happening. Uh, yeah, I don't think she's particularly, dare I say, fond of me anymore. <laughs> uh, I don't think she particularly enjoys my present be presence, be it real or cyber. I mean, she did tell me that like she's never been mad at you, but that may have changed since then. I think I make her a little, quote-unquote, uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying but to yes, find... uh, this is how to talk to women, evidently. Evidently. This is definitely what you do. If they bring up their ex, just tell them to shut the fuck up as many times as you really need to. Yeah. 25 times in a row. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Same message, or multiple messages if you want. Just yeah. fucking spam it. Just... Yeah. Get the point across. That's the idea. That's the idea. It's about <laughs> sending a message. It's about <laughs> sending... 25 messages. Yeah. Woman tells you <laughs> that she misses her ex. No one bats an eye. Tell her to shut up 25 times. Everyone loses their minds. Uh, society. Speaking society. of yelling things in women's faces repeatedly to get them to stop doing something. Uh -huh. I, I believe I've told you about this, Skits, but uh, <laughs> Mig probably isn't in the loop since we've only spoken like three times before this. Uh -huh. True. Um, two years ago, at a certain female's birthday party, who Skits is well acquainted with because he tried to date her and she stored him up and went to the exact same like exact same movie, movie at a different place at the same time. Oof! With her now oh, I boyfriend. That one. Yep. That, oh, that reminds me. I got to bring up another story too on the yes, the but uh, rituals I have with women. This this female has been one of my uh, close friends since primary school, and so we're still, like, best friends pretty much, even though she doesn't talk to people while she's in a relationship. It's true. Anyway. Trust um, me, I tried. So, birthday two years ago. Nice try. She and her then-boyfriend had, like, wandered off to a hotel room to, like, fuck for a while, and all the people at the party who I knew had, like boyfriends because they were all females who I went to uh, primary school with mm -hmm. so I couldn't really talk to them because they were busy making out and getting drunk and stuff so I had to contend with the single women who were drunk and insufferable why would and, you talk um, to single women they ran through <laughs> just, why, why, why women just why don't talk to women I, I didn't want to talk to them however I was pulling like the full Leon Kennedy no way f stuff. Like I had Thank you. pointed I something. That out. I thought you've perpetuated the myth that I'm gay, so that we can get away with saying. The, <laughs> well, uh... no, we can because you just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I'm Greek. We invented the gays. I can say it. Okay. Um, so I I just invented. point that because uh, this female seemed normal until she became inebriated. And when she became inebriated... Are you making fun she... of me? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. You don't say the word um, inebriated? Um, Unironically? 
Uh, oh my god, my god. So, got drunk. She starts just trying to fucking flash me and shit, making it look like, oh, look how flexible I am. And I turned around because I was, like, uncomfortable and didn't want to see this pudgy fox, like, genitals. Um, that only incited her further. She's going, oh, you're such a gentleman, you're so cute. I was like, oh. I, don't think, I don't think the mic picked up my soul leaving my body as I screamed in anguish. It didn't, it didn't. Ah, oh, but yeah, anyway, yeah. I'm so like. Are you wearing a fucking I'm... dress shirt? No, it's it's just a fucking like. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. You asked me. You you asked me this exact I'm same sorry, thing. I'm sorry. I got I Bateman do. vision on. I'm assuming everyone's wearing suits right now. I'm, I'm wearing a robe. Although it is a audio audio uh, medium, I'm definitely wearing a three piece suit right now. He's Bateman yes. maxing. I'm Bateman maxing. It's real. <laughs> Um, but, like, I went to buy gelato, she follows me around and starts eating my fucking gelato. Like, Damn, that's what you- Don't fuck with- I don't fuck with the max gelato. Yeah, yeah uh, eventually she'd eaten so She's put you food. in a self-defense situation at that point. Yeah, it got worse. <laughs> it got worse. She'd eaten so much of my gelato, so I was like, oh, whatever, fuck it, you can have the rest. Yeah. Uh, she kept toddling around on, like, children's play equipment, like, drunk and off-balance. Nearly fell off. I, I, I would have. I wish I could have just stood there and watched it happen, but I like made sure it didn't happen. Uh -huh. She kept trying to like fucking cling to me, so I'd point at random things and go, "Hey, is that a blah blah blah?" And then run the fuck away to that, and I just stay there. <sighs> but eventually, she just started fucking chasing me around. This was a Darling Harbour may I add. So you know the water feature with like the stepping stones across that pool of water? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Did you push her in? No. I was running away from her across those stepping stones and she was barreling at me at full drunk speed How across big was the stepping she? stones as well. When you hmm? say baller, ba a barreling, I think of a really fat bitch. Not exactly not exactly huge, but dumpy. Over Double 80 kilos? Dumpy. Hmm? Over 80 kilos, you reckon? Uh, considering at a party, me and some dude in an MCR shirt struggled to carry her to a bed because she was blacked out and, like, vomiting and crying about cockroaches. Yeah, I'd say about 80, and that's about as much as I weigh. Yeah, that's rough. Um, anyway, barreling at me, mm -hmm. no regard for, like, stopping so for that she wouldn't safety. crash into me. We were, I was running away from her across these stepping stones, across like a pool of running water. She's running across these stepping stones faster than I am and about to crash into me. I just avoided getting knocked into the pool, but only just. Right. And then for like the next hour or so, she was like fucking screaming Skater Boy by Avril Lavigne over and over again. And at uh. one point got into the uh, Jägermeister, got oh, no. even worse, and started like rubbing her tits against me, and just, oh, uh, no. I just kept screaming, ha, ah, gay, in her face, over and over and over again, <laughs> she finally got the point. She stopped, she went away, and she tried to do a cartwheel, she stacked it because she was drunk. I and also her. fat. Hmm? And also fat. Mm-hmm. I laughed at her, and she just started crying, like, you hate me, don't you? Yes. yes. And I was like, I try not to hate people. And she was like, somehow I don't believe that. And then she, like, gets mad and says goodbye to everyone but me and goes off to the fucking club to go find some, like, slab of meat to go to bed with. And yeah, just, how, I don't know how people do that and then just don't wake up the next morning, like, huh, maybe I shouldn't be a degenerate retard. Maybe I shouldn't drink. Yeah. Maybe people would like me a bit more if I didn't sexually harass them. Hmm. Take my male mindset, running away from women. Basically. Yeah, I mean, it was all I could yeah, do. They're laughing at them when they hurt even... themselves because they're drunk. It's like throwing pebbles and shit in, like, stealth games. Oh, yeah. And you were, like, pointing at shit and saying, hey, look. It's like throwing pebbles and shit in stealth games so you can keep <laughs> playing. Like... Uh... If only throwing a girly mag would distract them or hiding in a box. Hiding in a box works. We were does. talking about this the other day. <laughs> oh, and quite an extensive convo about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, take care of your box and it'll take care of you. 
<laughs> Durham, no. anyway. uh, yeah, so bring it back. Um, talking about his friend that I tried to take on a date one time to see a movie. There's a, uh, that time was May I mention, oh my God. she is infamous with my friends because they don't know her, but they've seen her on social media and stuff. Especially the ones who, like, don't hang out with me quite as often. Uh-huh. They're like, oh, are you and her dating? She's really hot. And I was like, no, no, I'm basically just the retard chauffeur who keeps her out of trouble. Yeah. I mean, I gotta give it to her. She really grounds me. Because sometimes I think that I'm really unstable. And then I look at her Instagram story and I go, oh, I'm doing all right. Yeah, like when she talked about uh, very expensive dates. Yeah. Like, no disrespect to her, but... um. Holy fuck. That's all I gotta say. Oh, disrespect. Uh, I don't know who it is, but... That's fine. Bitch. No. Nah, nah, not that. a bitch? No, nah, nah. she's, she's a nice person. Oh, she's okay, just a bitch. She's she a nice lady. I think she's as autistic as we are when it comes to telling if people are, like, you know. Yeah. So, um, this is when Akira had the 4K remaster coming out, and I asked her out, and I was basically like, hey, you want to go see this? Like, I wasn't even implying it was a date. I just asked her if she wanted to see it with me. She's like, oh, I'd love to. That looks amazing. Um, and then I had bought the tickets, because I'm a gentleman. Also, I was balling the fuck out on my neat bucks. 800 a fucking <laughs> every second week, bro. I was balling. Um, and... <laughs> Yeah, and then she goes, oh, I completely forgot. I just have an assignment I have to finish this night, which in itself is a stupid as fuck because how the fuck do you just forget about a uni assignment? Like, I hadn't started uni at that point, but after starting uni and now thinking back, I'm like, what the fuck? Are you dumb? Like, what? How does that even fucking happen? Anyway. I mean, I've been there, like, once. I haven't. The rest be of the time. Anyway. So, it was a group task, so luckily it didn't matter. Yeah. Um, so... I'm like, oh, okay, what the fuck? So I hit up one of my mates, and we go watch instead. And then this motherfucker, um, Bussy Balls, hits me up the next morning, like, hey, I don't know if you saw this, and it's from her private story of her going, posting, like, um, screenshots of, uh, like, movie tickets. tickets, and it's, like, tickets for two at the same time at a cinema, maybe, like, I don't know, like, 10 minutes drive from the cinema we were meant to go to. Oh, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I did end up seeing it with like a guy that's now one of my really good friends, so you know, it wasn't too bad. But then I took another girl on a date to go see this movie. She shows up 30 minutes late, so she's missed the intro of the movie, um, which is kind of imperative to the um, you know narrative of the story. I don't know if you, any of you guys have watched really a little Akira. Bit. Um, and Akira's like my favorite movie ever. I've watched it 18 times. It fucks. Only? Uh, only 18 times. And Let's go watch it. Anyway, so she falls asleep in the movie multiple times. She's on her phone. The brightness turned the fuck up, I must mention, too. It's actually insane. And she just turns over to me like every five, ten minutes going, what's happening? What's going on? What's going on, huh? What, what's, what's, what's happening? What's happening? And I'm not going to explain it to her because if you ever watched Akira, it's kind of hard you to can't. explain. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty confusing. Ah, few will understand. Few will understand. Very esoteric, avant-garde film. <laughs> I, but this brings I still me on, remember the first time I watched it, actually. Uh-huh. This brings me on to uh, another thing. I have this thing with women I date, um, where I get every single woman I've dated... Hi, to, everybody. I'm going to have to edit that out. Tell your mom I'm going to have to edit that out. She interrupted my story. She will <sighs> pay. No women allowed on the podcast. What We're the hell? incels. We're incels. No, wi- no women. <laughs> um, and anyway, so I get all the women I date to watch Akira with me. Usually. There's only one woman that's ever not watched it with me. Uh, we'll come to that later. But this is another thing you should do when you are talking to women specifically. You should find a very, I'd say it's pretty niche around the normies, uh, movie that's usually foreign. And make sure to watch it in a completely different language too, just to piss them off even more. Get them to, I thought it's like two hours long. Get them to watch, sit through the entire movie with you. And then after that movie, ask them what they thought about it. And if they answer with a stupid or a generic answer, never talk to them again. Block them on everything. And they're no longer a part of your life as soon as they leave that house. Um, Good advice, actually. Actually, That's actually kind of solid advice. I might use that. Yeah, and the only girl I've ever dated that I'm still on good terms with um, is also the only woman that ever passed that uh, test. Um, But my most recent ex... Um, had some like visceral reaction to the 
idea of watching Akira with me. And she hated it so much. Like, I have this Akira jacket. I'm actually rocking it right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw it earlier when you yeah. were walking out of frame. I was like, damn, boy. <laughs> and um, I took her on a picnic one day. <laughs> and it was a little windy because it was at a beach. So it's air flows over the sea. You got a colder air, right? And I had this jacket in my Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh, I'm a little cold because for some fucking reason, this bitch wanted to wear a sundress when we're in, like moving into winter at a beach. All right. First of all, you fucking retarded. But B, I also appreciate you wearing a sundress. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I went to and th- th- we had already established you never want to watch a cure with me ever. Um, so I went to my Mercedes and got out. <laughs> by the way, it was a coupe. My Mercedes coupe. And I got uh. out my Akira jacket. She didn't see that it was a Akira jacket. She just saw it was a hoodie. So I gave it to her. She put it on. Now, this is how much this bitch hated Akira. And I've never, I haven't spoken to this chicken like three months at this point, which is kind of fucked up. Um, I, she puts it on. She's like, oh, thanks. And I'm like, no worries. By the way, it's, uh, oh, no, she made a joke. She's like, oh, I'm going to steal this hoodie from you, too. I'm not going to let that fucking happen. All right? I ain't fucking letting no bitch rob me. Fuck out of here. So I was like, oh, by the way, it's, uh, it's Akira merch. And she was like cold to the point of goosebumps. She goes, oh, really? Ew. Takes off the jacket, throws it back to me. And I had to walk to get that shit out of my Mercedes coupe. <laughs> and she just refuses to wear it because it has it, any affiliation with Akira. And Did you ever find out why she hates it? I have no fuck. She wouldn't tell me. It's like, what fucking trauma do you have from an excellent avant-garde esoteric art film from Japan? <laughs> that is also a manga that is phenomenal. For some reason, all the books together are like almost a thousand dollars right now, which is fucked up. And I w- w- kind of missed my co- chapter one copy I had. But anyway, I don't know why the fuck this bitch hated Akira so much, but that relationship fell through in about four weeks, which is standard, sure. admittedly, with my uh, record, but also kind of good because I didn't want to put up with a bitch that didn't like Akira, no matter how fat her tits were. True. No, pretty fat. We, sh- we should, uh, uh like, Actually, never mind. But yeah, we should watch Akira. Fucking. You playing talk, with talk. you wanna you wanna have sex with me? Yes. I can do that. All right, cool. Sweet. This the whole thing of using an esoteric film as a uh, testing mechanism is mm. similar to what I did with my ex. Okay. I made her watch the 1996 Sonic movie. It's really great. It's one of my favorite movies, and she liked it. Yo. Someone yeah, I also UN, forced her to play MGS. Hmm? Someone called the UN, this man's committing crimes against humanity. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> okay, sure, I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen that one, actually. Come so over I... to my house and watch the 1996 Sonic movie with me, babes. <laughs> um, I... I also made her watch Kung Fury. I uh, made her play MGS1 and MGS2. She got really into MGS and said, wow, you're just like Solid Snake. So <laughs> clearly as autistic as I am. So true, oh, yeah. so true. Um, um, we're nearly at an hour, by the way. Mm-hmm. Holy fuck. Yeah. So and we're, we're like only a quarter of the way through the funny stories. Yeah, part two of how uh, to talk to women. <laughs> we can go for like five parts, probably. Probably. There's so many <laughs> stories. But I think uh, we'll probably wrap it up because I don't want to... The last episode was like an hour and a half, nearly two hours. Mm. I think the last one was two hours, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I kind of want like something that's not too long. But yeah, you want to wrap it up? Uh, <laughs> sure. So uh, how I met that ex was I called her short at a birthday party. It was a Nerf war. Bitches love that. Yeah, they, they love it. Unironically, um, they do. She, she got mad at me and beat the shit out of me. Swag. <laughs> It lasted about 20 minutes, and then I went and got into another fight. I won that one. Sigma, uh, establish dominance by beating your future wife. The second time we met, I was mad about losing to her the first time, because <laughs> like she she caught me by surprise. I was entirely off guard. I was like, mm-hmm. you know, how can something so small do this? So I was like, all right, rematch time, bitch. Uh-huh. During that rematch, things happened, such as she made a sword out of a rubber chicken, uh, I found a plastic knife, like a big one, it was pretty heavy, lobbed it at her head, she dodged it, and it shattered on the wall behind her. I feel like this is incriminating, almost. <laughs> yeah! Um, and I picked up some milk crates to use them to, like, 
<laughs> to win, but I cut my hand on the milk crate and fell into the mud and had to forfeit the fight because I didn't want to get infected. <laughs> and we still wound up dating, and then like the first time like we hung out after getting together, I just showed up to her place with a bunch of swords and challenged her to a sword fight in front of her house. Oh, you did this the same thing in my house, but without the swords. Huh? Did the same thing in my house, but without the swords. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in recap, uh, do absolutely unstable things to, to your girlfriend, make her watch retarded films, and challenge her to fights. And he beats women. <laughs> Pointing to me. You played the wrong guy. Oh, fuck. Well, I can't. Like, it, he, he's on this side for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this episode went fucking fast, but it's going long. Yeah, we've got plenty more stuff to cover. I haven't even touched yeah. my most potent autism yet. I think it's going to turn into a trilogy on God. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> on God. All right. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. See yep. you uh, next we'll week. Save Bye. For... We'll save it for another week. Yeah. <laughs> True. Bye -bye. Hold out. We've got more potent stuff. <laughs>